You are a firm believer in the inherent eroticism of shared autism. You can recite paintbrushes coming out scene word for word. That shit is surgically lasered onto the inside of your brain. Your ideal date involves putting your Minecraft beds next to each other. You think the show peaked at season two. You think the show peaked at season three. You don't think this show peaked at season one in the slightest, but that will not stop you from missing it terribly. You are heterosexual. Your ideal date involves getting senpai to notice you. The relief you felt when the phrase toxic yuri entered mainstream consciousness as a fun, quirky thing to say about fictional characters cannot possibly be overstated. Looking back on your childhood, you can pinpoint inanimate insanity as the source of your crippling addiction to size difference. You are a firm believer in the inherent eroticism of blackmail. Your ideal date involves wacky hijinks, after which the butterfly effect ensues. You just want good things for suitcase. And really, who wouldn't? Your ideal relationship dynamic is guys being dudes. What's better than this? You are a firm believer in nickel going to fucking therapy. I would say that you also believe in the inherent eroticism of shared autism, but realistically you just personally identify with Cabby's Something thirst. Warmer. You believe that every capable girl boss needs a spectacularly lame male wife to balance her out. You need everyone to know about your MILF hunter life ring headcanon. You have not seen a single instance of a dead ghost character who misses being alive and clings to the first living person they find that has not been at least a little bit sexual. You want a girlfriend who will cook you chicky nuggies. You don't understand why they couldn't have just figured this all out sooner. Marshmallow has two hands. You are Discord user Curtis Trans Catboy Moikers.